Well, Miss Fox, today is exciting because we get to start writing our numbers. Are you ready to begin? First, let me pour myself a cup of tea. And then I'll meet you at my desk. lessons, we are going to practice seeing our numbers in different ways as well as learning how to properly write each number. Once we know how to write our numbers from 1 to 10, we can write any number we want. Let's get started. Most of us know what a number one looks like, but I want to show you how we will be writing it. Watch me first as I make my one and teach you a poem, and then we can do it together. So here's my poem. Starting point at the top, one is fun, straight line down, and you are done. Let's do it again. Starting point at the top, one is fun, straight line down, and you are done. That's it. Now that we practice writing our one with our large motor, let's practice writing it with our boards. You should have your board in front of you, but before we begin, I want you to make sure that the red line is closest to your tummy and the blue line is at the top of your board. If you write with your right hand like I do, I want you to turn your board to look like mine. But if you write with your left hand, I want you to turn your board the opposite way. Left-handers, when you write, Make sure to put your hand to the side and not make a hook. I'm right hand, so I'm gonna turn my board the other way. Now watch me, and then we can do it together. Here's my blue line. I'm going to put my pin at the starting point. One is fun, straight line down, and you are done. Do you see how I stopped at the red? That is our stopping point. Now let's try it together. Get your pin, starting point at the top. One is fun, straight line down, and you are done. Let's do that three more times. Starting point at the top. One is fun, straight line down, and you are done. One is fun, straight line down, and you are done. And last time. Starting point at the top. One is fun, straight line down, and you are done. We did it, you're done. Now, before we leave for the day, I thought it would be fun to make a craft for each number. So, I'm going to erase my board and move it to the side, and then get my craft items ready for the number one while you get yours ready. our craft, I have my one, my word one, and my ten frame. I have a sharpie and my glue stick. You might even have a dot stamp or stickers to use as well. So how we'll do this is first, let's always start with the word. So let's grab our word one and your glue, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my number and then stick my word right on top. I'm going to put mine at the bottom, but you can put yours anywhere. Now we want to show what one looks like. So let's start with our 10 frame. I'm going to use a Sharpie, but you can use another marker if you want or a crayon. And let's put a circle in the first square. So when we see one on a 10 frame, it is one dot. There is one dot in the 10 spaces. Then let's glue it on our one. Again, I'm gonna put my glue on the number one. I'm gonna put mine at the bottom again, but yours can go anywhere and stick it on. We showed two ways to make the number one, the word and the 10 frame, but now let's make one tally mark. So my tally mark will go right in the middle. There's my one tally mark. And then 
grab your dot paint or stamp or marker like I have, and I'm gonna make a circle to show one. So how many circles will I make? You're right, one circle. I did it. That is my number one craft. I want you to keep your number crafts handy because as we make more of them, we will get to use them as review and extra math practice. How did you like writing the number one, Miss Fox? How about you at home? Was it hard or easy to make a straight line down? Sometimes it can be hard, but I know the more you practice, the easier it will get. I wonder what number we will learn tomorrow. See you next time.